Well, my next guest is here in Cannes to push for a transaction tax along the lines favoured by some European leaders. Brennan Barber is General Secretary of the TUC, which is Britain's trade union umbrella body, joins me now. And Brennan, what do you want to see from the G20? Well, I want to see uh, a renewed focus on jobs and growth. I mean, back in London, at the London Summit, we saw a real sense of the biggest uh, nations in the world coming together in common action to save the financial system from sliding into chaos. But we've rather, rather lost energy mm. since then. Uh, we've had uh, many governments pursuing austerity rather than really keeping uh, the push towards growth. Uh, and we want to see that uh, that uh, direction turn again in the direction of getting people back to work. That's so, what's going to so what, be a what solid recovery. So what specifically do they need to be doing? Uh, well, certainly I think we need to see uh, reform in the, in the tax system. We have, as you said in the introduction, strongly supported the case for a financial transaction tax. Here in Cannes, uh, we've had uh, Bill Gates and Bill Nighy yeah. coming and making that, uh, that case to world yeah. leaders. And we're seeing more of the leaders now expressing strong support. Uh, we need further action uh, on tax havens. Again, the London summit put a strong spotlight on that. Uh, President Obama gave a strong lead on that issue uh, two years ago. Uh, and yet we still see mm. massive amounts of tax avoidance uh, through, through the tax havens, which is one of the factors that are impoverishing exchequers yeah. around the world. I mean, I suppose when you speak about something as, as complex as, as changing the tax system or indeed fixing loopholes in the system, I mean, this is serious structural change that is just not going to happen overnight. This is going to take time, isn't it? It, it may not happen overnight, but we need to see a real concerted effort. Uh, to deliver change, and I don't think we have seen that mm. since those commitments were made uh, two years ago. Uh, and as a result, uh, we're seeing the sovereign debt problems around uh, around Europe, mm. um, and we're seeing this drive towards austerity, which is not going to deliver uh, a sustainable recovery. With it's bringing yeah. all the, but I uh, suppose the problems of high unemployment. Uh, yeah, well but I suppose I suppose that the drive towards austerity is all about curbing the excesses of the past. It's all about cutting back on spending. Uh, it's all about sort of addressing imbalances that have been there that have been there for a long time. Well, some of the imbalances certainly have been there for a long time, um, uh, but that doesn't mean that we can't begin to take action to uh, to turn things around. I mean, in the UK, we've had virtually no growth for the last year. We just saw a modest uh, improvement in the most recent figures, uh, but the economy has basically been flatlining for that period. Other countries have done rather better that haven't been but so the, relentless. But the UK has done better than much of the eurozone. Uh, well, some parts of the Eurozone clearly are struggling, but other economies are doing rather better. And what about the financial transaction tax? Well, uh, I mean, this is an idea that is now very, very strongly supported right across many of the countries here in, in the G20. And it would be a way of curbing some of the high volume speculative trading that's been a part of the problem in the financial system. Mm. And it would be a way of, in a sense, beginning to see the financial sector repay the debt it owes to the wider community. I mean, we have all been paying a very, very high price for the failures of the financial system. But I suppose system. there is also the risk that if you start to, to ha impose these sort of taxes on transactions, on businesses, that actually you will end up hurting the greater economy and actually hurt London's position as an international business centre. Well, I don't want to... I mean, the city is an important uh, part of our economy and an important centre in the global economy, of course. But, you know, we need to rebalance within the British economy. We've been too reliant on the financial sector uh, for, for too long. The governments have seen it as a, a key engine of growth. Well, it is an important engine of growth, but actually we need to see an emphasis on building up uh, our manufacturing uh, part of the economy, for example. Uh, we need to see other sectors given priority, not uh, relying so much on one sector.